and all these three methods were basically involved to generate the vectors this video tutorial is going to extension of this uh, these commands right we are going to learn today log space which is again uh, to generate the vectors uh, linearly or uniformly spaced but in logarithmic scale right so let's say if i'm going to write the syntax of the line space and the log space command is similar uh, for example if, sim if i simply write log, log space and mention the starting element in a comma ending element so it will generate around 100 elements and all of them will be logarithmic space for example uh, if i'm going to write uh, okay let me take an example and it will clear the stuff so if I'm going to write, let's say, variable name, variable name A or the vector name A, and I'm going to write log space. And let's say our starting value, value, value is 1 and ending at value is 4, right? So if I do not write any third parameter, so it will generate automatically 100 elements. But we know that to deal with 100 elements, it's very difficult. So I want to generate very few elements right so let's say the starting elements uh, starting element is one and ending element is four and i want just four values in between them right uh, it is just to explain you this command then we will change the values so if i'm gonna do it what is going to happen we know that starting value is one ending value is four so we will have four values like one two three but this vector is not being generated, rather the logarithmic space, space will be generated, or you can say the logarithmic vector will be generated. And logarithm is basically uh, with the base 10, right? So basically, first member would be 10 power 1, the next member would be 10 power 2, or 10 to, 10 to the 2, or 10 to the 3, and 10 to the 4. So basically, let me show the result and it will be, it will clarify more. Yes, you can see that the 10 raised to one means 10, 10 raised to two means 100, 10 raised to three means 10, uh, 1000, and 10 raised to four means 10,000, right? This is going to happen if you use the logarithmic space. So why do we need logarithmic space? Sometimes when we are dealing with the data, we need to manipulate and visualize the data. And in linear space, data cannot be represented or visualized uh, uh, easily or you can say the more insight of the data can be visualized if you visualize it in logarithmic space scale so then you need the logarithmic space uh, or logarithmic spaced vectors right and those vectors are generated using the log space command for example you can see that uh, you can take one more example log space uh, and let's say you start from 2 and you go to let's say 10 comma 15 so what is going to happen it will generate the vector from 10 to the 2 to the 10 to the 10 and there will be 15 elements in between them so let's test this uh, vector okay now things become more difficult to understand uh, to make it more understand i want to reduce the first size of the length or the length of the vector let me do it let's of all c and i wrote it b and b generated 15 values let's say i want to generate just five values and just enter it okay here is interesting factor is going on interesting stuff is going on and this is some time uh, this is very first time we are observing this fact in this video tutorial so i want to explain it uh be careful this is very good concept and very important one so you see the vector is this one 0 0.00, 0 0.00, 0 0.001, 0 0.001, 0 0.001, 0 1.00. But this complete vector, let me highlight it. Yeah, 
this complete vector is being multiplied with this value, which is 1 e to the 10. That means this will multiply it with this, this will multiply it with this, and this will multiply it with this. So this is what MATLAB do automatically if it, find, if it finds out some common factor and there is huge amount of data we are dealing with. So it will actually uh, compact the vector and it will take the uh, high uh, powers of the 10 into the common to the complete factor, right? But this is some, there is something uh, crazy going on here. If you see this 1.0 multiply by power 10, multiply by this zero, it eventually it is zero. This is also zero. And this will become one e to the 10, which is 10 power 10. And okay, but these two vectors, was it was they really zero? If you notice what I've written here, uh, I've written here two comma 10. That means the first value should be what? 10 power two. The next value should be what? or the last value should be what 10 power 10 but something is wrong this is not zero why this is zero here or why it is shown zero here because of the format this is some new concept that we are learning here and that is about the format let me write it down format usually uh, the data shown here or the variables shown here are floating point and floating point variables have some kind of precision. Uh, if you uh, if you want to show them in 16 bits or 16 digits format, you will have like 0 0.00000015 0 0 zeros and then one. So this is the accuracy of long format. There may be short format, which is basically like uh, five or six format, uh, five digits. So it is like that. But we know that it is multiplied with 10 power 10. So there will be how many zeros like that. And then there will be some uh, kind of one will be here. But in short format, MATLAB show, MATLAB actually approximate the values till five digits. So in five digits, it becomes zero. That is why this zero is shown here. So can we actually correct this format? Yes, we can do it. And we can actually change that the for, uh, we can actually change the format of the floating point and how we do it. Let me clear the stuff. Okay, and I will actually change the format. Uh, and how would you do it? Just write format and long. That's it. If you write format long, the format is changed. Now let me produce the same vector. See, it is the same. Earlier we produced and we noticed that there, there were two different values which were zero. Actually, they were they are not zero. So if we change the format to the long from the short, so what is going to happen if I'm going to execute this command? I hope you can see that. Let me raise this stuff. Yeah. So I hope you can see that now it is not 0.00, .00 rather it is. After some digits, it, it can be seen that one is there, which means it is non-zero value. It is non-zero value. It is also non-zero value. So this is how you can actually uh, change the format. Uh, when you are dealing with the logarithmic space, please be careful about this format uh, of the floating point in MATLAB environment. It will actually help you to analyze the data more easily. Okay, that's it from this video tutorial. In this video tutorial, we'll learn about the long space and the formatting. Uh, okay, let me take one more example before I actually complete this or conclude this uh, uh, tutorial. So let's say C is a log space. And if I write, okay, let me first C and C. And also let me raise this one. Yeah, because I want to show you the original log, log space as well. So let's say C equals to log space one comma hundred or one comma 10. And if I don't mention the third element, which is the number of elements, so how many elements will be generated? Hundred elements. And you can see that. No, that's not true for the logarithmic space. For logarithmic space, we will have only 15 elements. So let me correct it. Let me, let me correct it, CLC. And so this is wrong. This is wrong. This is not 100. 
log space, if you do not put uh, any number of elements, it will generate automatically 50 elements. And you can actually see in the last command, if you noticed, see 50 elements. In the last, very last row is actually showing this thing column from 49 to column 50, which means there are only 50 columns generated. And we can also visualize, we can also clear this thing. Let me, uh, if we write size of C, right? Remember that shows the size or number of rows is one. Okay, this is a basically row vector and the column number is 50, which means it, it has 50 columns. You can also use the length command that we learned earlier, length of C, it will show you the 50. So that means log space command by default generate 50 elements if you do not put the number of element or if you do not define the number of element in command itself. So I hope you have learned how to generate a logarithmic space in using the vectors. I hope this uh, command is clear. And if you have any query, you can post your queries in comment section. Thank you so much for listening.